Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I have done this greasy, black, messy, grungy, kind of lived in eye for you using the Suva Beauty Grease Matte. It's a really simple eye, so if you want to learn how I did this, keep watching and I will teach you exactly how. I'm going to start off using my Sourcebox Etude Palette and using a combination of these three colors to just kind of blend a black haze through the crease of the eye. So I'm just starting off by working the gray and the cream color and then I'm just slowly going to add a little bit of black to the crease. And I'm using my Smith 232 brush. Now that that's all blended on top, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner underneath the eye. So I'm going to put that underneath the lower lash line and also in the waterline. Make sure you really work that in as well. One of my pet peeves is to have those little dots of skin in the lash line, so make sure you work it right into those lashes. Now I'm going to buff that out with my Senna Mini Feather Brush. I want it to be nice and diffused and kind of blown out on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Smith brush that we were using and a little bit of this cream dream color and just diffuse underneath the eye. All right, so now for the glossy part, I'm going to be taking this Suva Beauty Grease Matte. This is the black color, obviously. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my Urban Decay Setting Mist into the cap of this product. Mix it up until the formula in the lid isn't too see-through, too runny, but also isn't too dry. Blot that off on my hand just a little bit, just so we don't have too much product. And using this e.l.f. eyeshader brush, I'm just gonna pat that onto the lid of the eye. So I'm just leaving that color just kind of a little bit below the crease and just dabbing whatever's left just up and over the crease a little bit just so it blends in. You don't have to get perfect with this look because I feel like a greasy eye looks better when it's a little imperfect. I'm always starting down at the base of the lid and then working the product up. You never wanna pop the product straight into the crease. That's just gonna to deposit too much color and you're not gonna have room to blend upwards. Go along underneath just a little bit, just so the textures somewhat match. Buff this brush just along that line. Usually it's kind of set by now, but just to see if we can get any movement from it. For the brows, I just want them to be nice and natural, so I'm just gonna use just a little bit of the Kat Von D Tattoo Brow in Blonde, just to fill in those fast bits where I have little gaps. As always, I'll be adding a ton of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. For contour, I just want something really natural, so I'm just gonna be using this Cream Dream Color from the Saucebox palette and my Smith 118 brush. For highlight on the cheeks, I'm gonna be loading up on this Incandescent Strobe Light from Hourglass. I have absolutely been obsessed with these highlighters since I've gotten them. This is the Morphe M501. For lips, I'm gonna use a combination of Sebastian Lip Pencil and John Doe Lip Tar. There you have it guys, a super easy, greasy, grungy, kind of messy, black, smoky eye. This is definitely one of the longer lasting, greasy eyes that I've done. Obviously you can see it kind of starts to crease and separate in the crease of the eye, which I think is cool. The whole idea of this look is it's 
you know, a very lived in kind of messy look to pull off. You can definitely go ahead and add gloss to the center of the eyes, but in my experience, this makes it come off way quicker. So I just like to use the Suva grease paint just in the middle of the eye. And that just kind of gets even more lived in the more that you wear it. If you guys want to see the progression of this eye, I am going to be wearing this in my Black Moon Cosmetics Lip Swatch, which I will leave that right here. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys have subscribed to my channel already and I will see you guys next Tuesday for my next video.